Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Dicetown, which is a delight. This is a really sweet, charming party game, for lack of a better term. I don't know, maybe it's kind of on the borderline between party, because you know there is a fair amount to explain, there's a fair amount to think about, but it's still so light, so breezy, so much fun. I mean, more than anything else, the tactile nature of these cups, the fact that everybody gets one of these cups full of these very, very cool poker dice, shake them up, slam them down. Um, you know, everybody's doing it at the same time. There's a lot of loud, raucous noise, but then everybody peeks and is secretly trying to decide what they're going to play. And, you know, and they, and they set their thing aside and then they, um, and, that, and then everybody with a flourish reveals. And, and, you know, I mean, so just the, 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 uh, the ritual of, the, of this game that you go through round after round is just very appealing, very charming, and really draws people in. I mean, I've actually taken this uh, to parties and had great success amongst people who knew that Jen and I played games and didn't really understand why. And so this was an opportunity to convert them, and it did a great job. Everybody I've ever played this with has said, boy, I would love to play this again. And I think some of them maybe even sought it out. Although, the game's been out for a while. It might be kind of hard to get your hands on now. I'm not really sure about that. But it's a, it's a blast. My only complaint with it is... Really, it works as a two-player game, but there's no reason really to play this as a two-player game. I mean, there are so many better two-player games with dice, whether you want something really super light and breezy or you want something heavier than this kind of party weight. I mean, this is just not something I ever play. I keep this just on the off chance I'm ever going to find myself in a social situation where I've got um, you know, upwards of six people who need to be entertained, and I'm pretty confident that everybody will have fun doing this and, you know, because, I mean, really, I gotta do is say, oh, it's like Yahtzee with these cool poker dice, and you get to go around, because, um, you know, everybody understands, okay, well, get more of the same type of thing, and, um, you know, just score a lot of points, it goes very quickly. Actually, I guess at the higher player counts, it does go a little bit long, but if you are a bit worried about that, the simple thing is, just remove, like, 30% of the of the, what do you call it, the, the gold, and you know 30% of the land, and you can have a game that is very, very quick if you don't think you've got an audience that's going to be able to make it all the way through the end. Because I guess at the higher player counts, this can maybe stretch out to an hour. Although really, this is more of like you know a 20 or 30 minute game if everybody's going quick. Certainly, and again, the lower the player count, the fewer choices there are every round, so it goes much, much quicker. But like I said, it's unofficial, but just take a third or heck, even half of the land and the gold nuggets out and you can make this a very, very fast game where everybody just has a blast, rolling dice, making a lot of noise, peeking. Because then the other thing that's really cool, once people get it, you know, they're trying to decide, they need to look around. Okay, what has everybody else already set aside? Ooh, he's already got two nines. Should I be bothering to go for nines right now? I don't know. I don't think so. But if I take these two nines, I've got a very good shot at getting a full house, which will get me in good at Town Hall. And you know what? No matter what, even if somebody d d plans horribly and gets nothing, no problem. They'll just go to Doc Bad Luck and you always get something. Everybody always has a satisfying and successful round. So the core game is really, really great. And then you add this expansion. One, it, ex it extends the uh, player base. Now you can play with up to six, which is very, very cool in and of itself. But the choices get a lot more interesting, particularly if you play with enough players, which again is more than two, so that now, there is a second place. So suddenly, all the competitions, whereas before, it was like, well, okay, I can see he's already got two nines. Am I going to keep this nine? Yeah, because you know what? Nobody else has any nines at all. Even if he wins first place, I'll still get second place. It just blossoms and becomes even cooler. So I'm not, I'm not saying this is a must-have, but if you get the expansion, you really increase the, uh, the shelf life of this game, the longevity, the fun factor, everything about it. Never mind the fact that you get to bring in six people instead of five, and everybody's going to have a uh, rootin' tootin' blast of a time as they roll and reveal. And, um, you know, just visit Dice Town. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Now, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, please let me know. Apologies for your goofs I made, but hope you have a pretty good idea of what this game feels like to play and can decide for yourself whether it's worth picking up. That's all I'm going for. So, have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later, y'all. So long. Bye-bye.